Okay, we're doing the you try it problem or exercise from 4.4 here. It's on page 114. It's going to go into page 115, and there's another one after this that we'll get to too. Uh, but let's start. Uh, we always open a program first, so this is saying launch Fitch. That's what we did, and open the file tautological consequence one. All right. So it says in this file you'll find an argument that has the same form as the argument in 4.23, which was assigned. And it says ignore the two goal sentences down here at the bottom. Get to them later. So we want to move the slider down to the last step of the proof. All right, let's do that. And from the rule menu, we go down to the con sub menu. So rule and con and go to tautological consequence. Now it's saying cite the three premises as support for this sentence and check the step. So we'll cite them. One, two, three premises. Let's check the step. And it will not check out since the sentence is not a tautological consequence of the premises, as we discovered if we did 4.23. That means that this, if these are true, it's not necessarily the case that these are true. Okay, number three, edit the step that did not check out to read, edit the step that did not check out, and we want it to read Max is at home or Carl is at home. Okay, so we have Max is at home over here or all right, let's get rid of this negation. And we're actually going to be talking about Carl in this. Okay, this sentence is a tautological consequence of two of the premises. Okay, so let's just undo this. And we want to see which one of the two. So I'm guessing it's going to have something to do with Max is at home. Okay, good. And this isn't really involved. We want this one. Carl is happy. Carl is at home, Max is at home, or Carl is not happy. Let's see if this follows from it, and it does. That checks out. Now it's saying in this fourth step, add another step to the proof and enter the sentence, Carl is at home, or parentheses, Max is at home, and Chris is at home. Okay, so that's just the second goal over here. So we want to just highlight this, and we can Cut that out, we can go here, add another step, and paste that in there. So remember, that's just the goal down here. So we've entered that, and it says use tautological consequence to see if this sentence follows from follows tautologically from the three premises. All right, so let's see. We're going to go again, consequence and tautological, and we're going to cite all three of these, and we're going to check the step. And it does check out. So we have both goals. Now it's saying, let's try to verify the proof. But there's a problem. One of them checks out and the other doesn't. And it's saying you'll find that although the steps check out, the goal does not. It's because we have put a special constraint on our use of tautological consequence in this exercise. So it wants us to choose view goal constraints from the goal menu. So let's go up to goal. And let's go down to goal. Actually, our cursor needs to be down there. They don't tell you that, but goal, view goal constraints. Let's see what they say. Okay, so this says may use tautological consequence with at most two support sentences. And we have three, so that's not going to work out. That's why that doesn't check out, right? Because of that constraint. Okay, so let's undo that. We'll do that. So number six, our last step, the sentence you entered also falls from the sentence immediately above it. All right, that's a good hint. So we'll just click that, we'll cite that. Uh, plus just one of the three premises. Okay, uncite the three premises, we already did that. See if you can get this to check out, citing just two sentences in support. Remember it's uh, at most two. All right, so let's see. Max is at home, or Carl's at home. We have those two here. And then we have Chris is at home. So let's try the third one. See if that checks out. Yep, and it does. And let's see if the whole thing checks out. It should. Yep, we get our two green checks there. Excellent. So now we have proven our two goals. All right, now let's just quickly skip down to the next you try it. Right, it says uh, return to this file, and second, click on the picture of a pair of goggles that appears to the right of the rule name, and notice how the conclusion and the cited sentences change 
into blocks of color. Okay, so let's, here's the goggles right there. Let's check that out. Right, so this is basically just um, practice and understanding the tautological consequence just follows from the form. So we can get rid of the meanings of these and it's just replacing each atomic sentence with a color. So there's purple there, purple there, light green, dark green, and then we get that. So no matter what we have here and here, as long as they're consistent with the colors, this is what will follow. All right, and so that's the point of this exercise. And down here it says there's nothing to save. We're just illustrating some of the ideas behind tautological consequence.